And hello everyone, we are back in Ticket, right where we left off. Uh, literally recording this back to back. Um, very exciting, I understand. Uh, Ticket, in case anyone doesn't know, Ticket is basically a compilation of I think 39 Minecraft mods all put together and checked for compatibility. And uh, it's pretty cool. A lot of people don't like Ticket because they say, oh, it steals plugins from other developers. And it does give them credit, I guess, the one point that I'm not too happy about with the fact that they, you know, do take um, credit, I guess, for, or they do take the plugins of uh, other developers and put it into one thing is uh, a lot of the developers make some form of income from their plug, from people downloading their plugins when they go and they download it through like an ad fly link or something of the like. And so I really don't think that's too cool, but the rest of it, Tech It's awesome. I do love Tech It, so. You know, it, it, it uh, mixed feelings there. What I'm trying to find is glowstone, and I see it up there, and I'm debating just... I don't know, it's just above a giant lava pool, and I don't want to get shot off by ghasts. That's my main issue. I could build a cross to over there, and then just move from... Zombie so Pygmy isn't going to push me off, as you know. And then uh, just kind of go from there over to that glowstone. This is still kind of dangerous, but I could walk around the edge here. I think that's what I'll probably end up doing. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now. So for anyone, uh, for anyone who's curious as to what's going on with the Minecraft server, I think I'm going to put it back up um, tonight. I cannot for the life of me get Tekkit working on that thing. It's um, it just keeps having uh, severe issues with the Mac version of Java, which is what the computer I can use as a server is. So and I understand. Yes, I could boot up Linux onto it, but uh, I do want to keep it a Mac OS X environment and etc. So anyway, it uh, doesn't look like TechIt's going to be happening, at least not yet. Once some issues get resolved, then we'll probably be moving over to TechIt. But uh, right after I record this episode, actually, I am going to put the Minecraft server back up. And so by the time you're watching this, the Minecraft server will be back up. Back up, running on its feet, whatever, just as a... Whoa, gas is shooting at me. Die, gas. I don't want to die. No, screw you. Um... I'm not. Ah! <laughs> ah! No, we're all gonna die. Ah! Ah! Whew, I'm safe. Oh, and by now my health's recovered, so I can go out again. Alright. I guess I'm gonna kill you. In case you didn't know. Dang it. Alright, I'm gonna try to hit its gas balls back at it. Dang it, it's shooting him too high. Gas, how do you expect me to kill you when you have such horrible aim? This is just ridiculous. Right, this is ridiculous. Ah. Come on. No. Hey, look, glowstone. Aw. Alright, gas, it's time to play. Ha. Huh. Well, I didn't hit you. Still, ha. Huh. This will take a while. But I shall do it to get vengeance on ye old gas. Oh, two of them. Ah, I don't think this is going to work too well. All right, yeah, I don't see this working too well. All right, most of that glowstone's probably dead, but I'm going to try to go collect it anyway. Uh, try to dig through up here. Oh, they did it for me. Friendly gas. Ouch. Alright, this is not working. This is not working at all. Screw this. I don't need any more glowstone. I have enough. Although, actually, later on, glowstone's going to become very useful. Ah, uh, da, 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 with more EMC-related stuff. Oh, God. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'll get more glowstone. That's what I'll do. How do you like my poems? Yeah, I know they suck. Ah, uh, run, 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 before I fall into the lava and die at the hands of merciless ghasts. Or something like that. I don't know. As long as the story has the gas is the main... Ah! Uh, oh! Ah! We're all gonna die! We're all gonna die! Alright, um... Haha! -ha. Oh, really? Oh my god, no, 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 you don't... Oh, right. This is war. This is also probably how I die. Eat, 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 eat. All right. <sighs> 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 Gotta be careful. All right. Um. 
I'll start breaking some of this glowstone. Oh! Well then. Huh. Alright. When did I piss off the zombie pigmen? What did I do? I didn't attack any of them. I didn't kill any of them. I've been nice to the zombie pigmen. I sent them a Christmas card. Ah! Oh, alright. That was my fault. I'll admit that. Alright. Um. Uh. Hi. 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 Go away. Go away. You're gonna die. Yeah. Ha ha. Ah! Ah! You're gonna die too. Death to all pigmen now. This is Sparta. Ah! I haven't even seen that movie. I need to see that movie. Um, alright. Let me get back into my little safe zone over here. Like this. Because I really do need more glowstone. Glowstone becomes so essential. So essential. Once we start getting, um, like, EMC collectors that collect energy from glowstone light, uh, they're going to become just so essential. We're just going to need so many blocks of glowstone. It's ridiculous. Alright. I don't really like the nether spawn too much in this Tekkit world. I'm not too crazy about it. Uh, we are going to be using it pretty soon for Nova Catalysts, which are totally awesome, might I add. Um, the Nova Catalysts are just a great way to mine in the nether get a bunch of ores, smelt the ores. Uh, smelting process for nether ores is more intensive. Uh, you have to smelt it twice. Like to get um, the ore out of say a nether coal or something like that. Or say say you want to get um, you know iron ingots from like a... Oh, come on I hit that one. You want to get like iron ingots from you know whatever from the, the nether iron ore then you have to smelt it once to get it to iron ore then another time to get it to um, iron. So you have to end up smelting it twice, but the uh, dramatic increase in mining efficiency is more than worth it. Uh, it's actually... Are these guys mad at me? Hi, zombie pigman, I'm your friend. I'm friendly. Ah! Something shooting at me again. No! Die! Die, you horrible behemoths! Ah! <laughs> Alright, um... Oh, I probably hit a zombie pigman when I was trying to hit one of these fireballs back at it. I really think if you hit one of these fireballs, it should guaranteed go back and hit the gas, because this is just way too much work. I'm out of here. Oh, zombie pigman, gotta be careful. These gas are out to kill you. Oh, come on, that was close. That was... Alright, this one better hit him. Yeah. Oh, what? What now, Mr. Mr. Gas? You're dead. You're dead, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh, so close. So close. All right, now I just want to kill this guy. I keep going back and forth on whether I'm going to kill these guys or not. Oh, come on. Come on. Flying will make this so much easier. So much easier. But, all right, come on, gas. Really. We need to get this over with now. You need to die. It's one of those facts of gas life. You guys have to get used to. Um, huh. Well, that was way off. Huh. That was really way off because I didn't even hit it. Ha. Huh. Oh, oh, no. All right, gas, you're going to have to get a lot closer than that if you want me to kill you. Which I kind of don't think you do, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, there you go. Get closer. Ah. So he does want to be killed. Ha. Huh. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. Alright, you know, I can almost sword him right now. I can almost hit him with a sword. Oh, come on! Die already! Uh, this is annoying. Stop moving! Stop moving! Stop it! Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Ah ha 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 ha! You shall bend, bow before my power! And how many times it took me to try that was pretty sad, but whatever. Another rack never stops being on fire, so you have to put it out yourself if you ever want to walk again. And I'm now going to go for the glowstone in the clouds. 
Glowstone in the clouds. Da 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 da. I can make a song out of it. I'll get this glowstone over here. That eh, no, no 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 that glowstone right there looks nice. No, you know what? That one looks nice. I just have to. Is this a giant? All right, this is a cool landmass. I can get all the way over there, and then I can not remember where my Nether portal is. Crap. I think it's somewhere over there. Well, we're gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> That's may 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 keyword may may just become a point of interest. Um. So yeah. All right, here we go. Tons of glowstone. Oh, this is amazing. This is like the greatest thing since, since, since uh, I got that bucket of water that I said was the greatest thing since I turned on my computer. <laughs> uh, lack of comedy skills for the win. All right, let's just destroy this mass. Get a ton of stuff from it, and move on on our various pillages and destruction of things for our own personal gain, and flower planting, and all that fun stuff. What? I don't know. I'm not sure what we're going to do after. After we have uh, EMC, uh, a lot of EMC, we're probably going to go for, like, I don't know. Transmutation tables are pretty useful. Um, I've noticed one thing kind of ruins the game, and that's energy collectors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit myself to only being able to have one energy collector. And um, that'll that'll be interesting, and um, so that that doesn't just totally ruin the game. Because basically, for anyone who doesn't know, what the energy collectors do is they just sit there and they gather uh, energy, uh, EMC from glowstone blocks surrounding them, and then they turn it into uh, EMC, of course. And EMC can be you can use EMC and turn EMC into anything. Um, EMC is part of the equivalent exchange mod. And so basically, if I trade in, you know, like, um, one alternius fuel, then I can use that EMC to, um, to like, you know, I can change, oh, there's my another portal, awesome. I can change that fuel into, like, something in the league of, say, for example, uh, a diamond or something like that. Alternius fuel is 8,192 EMC credits, diamond is 8,192 EMC credits, so... The math works out nicely there. I don't think that fall is going to kill me. Nope, not even close. So, um, so once you have like a hundred of those machines working and you just go out and mine for like half an hour and come back, you have a ridiculous amount of uh, EMC locked up in uh, f alternius fuel, which then you can just, you know, convert out and use to your own advantage. Uh, and then, you know, you can make just whatever you need to make out of it. and So you can, like, you know, leave your client logged into the computer. Uh, you, you know, you can just leave the thing running for, like, an hour and come back. And you'll have, you know, all, all the anything you could ever wish for in the game, basically. And so it really does take the fun out of the game. Um, gets rid of that survival element and aspect. And it turns it into a, how long can my computer stay logged in before it crashes? Which is no fun, no fun at all. So that's not how I want to do it. So I'm going to limit myself to like maybe four of those, and I'm not going to allow myself to leave the client running when I'm not filming, so that it'll just be kind of like, oh, cool, I got some alternative fuel or something. It won't be that. Um, or if I decide to make more, I I'm debating, and you guys can add in your vote and uh, whichever one, if anyone wants to. Uh, have any input on this. My two ideas were one, I limit myself to only four EMC things, or two, I can only use the fuel that they produce as fuel. I can't convert it with EMC, and then I can make as many as I want, I just can't... Uh, that was kind of a dangerous spawn, I realized. Um, I just can't uh, convert them to... Uh, convert all the alternative fuel um, into diamonds or into anything else. It has to stay as fuel. Uh, so that's the other idea so let me know what you guys think about that and then we'll do if the community has nothing to say I think I'll go with the ladder of only being able to use them as fuel so I'll be able to have you know a million of them or whatever however, however many I want but I'll only be able to turn it into uh, use the fuel as fuel so it's not like you know oh boy I got a bajillion diamonds by playing for 30 minutes because um, I really do think that takes all the fun out of Minecraft, and this series would be very, very, 
Did I say very short if I did that? So, what direction did I come from? I think I came from, gosh, I want to say up there, but it could have been the other way I was, but that doesn't look like it. So, I'm going to go up here. Uh, yeah, 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 this is the right place. Because I remember that little spurt of stuff. Stuff. All right, um, it wasn't up there. It was along this path, I think. Yep, this is looking right. This is looking right. Oh yeah. We are masters at this. Alright, um... Yep, hello. Wait, I'm gonna need torches for this. And for torches I need coal, and I did see some coal right... Uh, where was it? Right here. So I'm gonna grab this coal, make some more torches so I can survive the way up at least. Now, this will be a very long going up spree thing. Because I'm going to have to climb against the current. Which is lame. I should just install ladder, to be honest. But I'm kind of lazy. Alright. So. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I need a lot of torches. Not that many, though. Uh, let's do 16. Yeah, that's good. 59 torches. 59 torches on the wall, 59 torches of light. Take one down, pass it around. Still 59 torches of light because no one drank one. Yay. Don't you just love my singing? It's like, if I if my career doesn't work out as a computer technician, or, you know, a software programmer, or whatever I decide to do, probably software programming, then um, I have a fallback career, singing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> No, but as far as a career, though, I do want to go into computer science, mainly programming. Over the weekend, I had a lot of fun with programming. I um, I made it this kind of, I don't know, it's it's a network security application, and you can use it. It's it's the kind of program that you could use it for destructive purposes, like a lot of stuff. It's like, you know, you can buy a knife, but you're not allowed to cut someone's head off with it, you know, or bleed someone out with it. Um, same thing as uh, that, that kind of software. I... It's basically um, software that can uh, sin flood something, which means it just sends a bunch of connections and doesn't close them, so it get the server gets tied up. Uh, so I've been using that to test some of my applications against sin floods, and they haven't done too well. Um, and uh, things like that. It also does port scanning, so it can scan a remote host or your current client, whatever tickles your fancy, uh, and see um, what ports are open. Uh, which is also useful um, for network security type stuff and so I've been debating distributing it on the internet like giving away the source code just for people who are curious as to how that kind of stuff works but I chose kind of against it because I don't know about the legality of distributing programs that could if someone were to use them this way it could become bad so I don't know but anyway, I had a lot of fun this weekend making that that thing is blazing fast I can scan your your entire computer for open ports in like four seconds. All the ports and scan like a remote thing on your network in like ten seconds and it can scan your entire network for all the computers with a certain port open and it's really cool. I've used it for quite a few things so far. Um, it's also useful for testing bandwidth and all that kind of stuff. Testing links to local hosts. I should probably stop blabbing about that but I thought it was pretty fun. So what to do now? Here's my redstone. Alright, let's go... Uh, let's look at this again. For this, four stone, four obsidian... Diamond... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, we don't need an understone. What was I thinking? Alright. The lowstone and redstone. So, and the diamond. Was it like this? Or was it the reverse? Huh, I got it right. I'm amazed at myself. I'm awesome. <laughs> I usually don't get stuff right like that. Alright, so there's my Philosopher's Stone, which I'm going to charge up. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't mean to do that. Wait, no, that's not what I was trying to do. Oh, yeah, that's another cool feature of Philosopher's Stone. Kind of a weird feature, but still a feature. V charges it up. Wait, do I have my, have my sound on? No, I don't. It's probably good. Isn't that awesome? All charged up. Alright, I don't even know what charging it does, but whatever. I like my stuff fully charged. Uh, and it's nighttime. It's like it changes my bed into like something else weird. Well then, that's nice. 
like this giant puddle or something. This giant, like, mosh. Alright, marsh, I mean. Let's see how this miner's doing. It hasn't run across any obsidian. That's kind of annoying. I almost feel like rigging it somehow. You know what I'm going to do for fun? No. I'm not going to pour that in. Um, I really wish it would, but it's not going to hit lava for a while. So, until it hits lava, I'm going to talk about Nova Catalysts a little bit. Um, Nova Catalyst. Here we go. This is the um, Cataclysm. This is the Catalyst. Uh, this one's the one I'm probably going to be using the most. It's basically just TNT plus uh, Mobius fuel. And so, uh, we're going to want some kind of um, energy collector before, of course, we're able to make this kind of stuff. Uh, well, we, I, we technically could, but I'm not going to bother doing that until uh, making these until we have a successful energy collection type thing up. Um, but that's what we'll be doing. We'll be combining TNT with Mobius fuel. Uh, this one is a bigger bang. Um, and basically, it explodes in this giant sphere, and it's great in the nether because um, netherrack is very low density. So this, while this could mine on the surface, it only maybe go four blocks in radius, and then other it can go like seven or eight. So it's a lot bigger of an area that it can cover, which is really cool. And um, uh, the the TNT is made with gunpowder and sand, and the Mobius fuel is made of uh, basically coal that you work up the ranks uh, in, in a uh, energy collector. So once we have uh, one, even one energy collector going, we'll be getting quite a bit of Mobius fuel. Um, Mobius fuel is, I think, the third to last stage of the fuel transition, but I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. No, 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 the fourth. It's the fourth, isn't it? No, wait, 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 what's his EMC value? Yeah, I think it's the third. Yeah, should be the third, because above that, actually, that might even be the second, but yeah, yeah, that's the second, actually, I think. But yeah, craft that together with TNT. TNT has gunpowder and sand. Sand is easily obtainable, and actually, I can use my Philosopher's Stone and just change dirt into sand. And the, um... Uh, gunpowder can also be produced with the energy collector because that is also fuel source or it can be equivalent exchanged in with you know, you know alternative fuel or whatever oh and uh, another policy to add to the um, able to use EMC collection unlimited but having to keep it as fuel I can can quote can can uh, transmutate it into another type of fuel like um, you know alternative fuel into gunpowder is fine, or alternative fuel into blaze powder is fine, or blaze powder into a, that is totally fine to do, um, use the products of it to make other products that it can make. I, th I think that's reasonable. Alright, so that's the Nova Cataclysm, now that we know about that, and I'm going to end this episode pretty soon here. And the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, what the actual uh, energy collector looks like. Uh, here it is. And it's made with a diamond block, very expensive. Uh, glass and a furnace plus six glowstone and then uh, the level two and level three upgrades of it use uh, dark matter and red matter respectively and gather more per minute more per second whatever uh, but um, we'll get more into the details of that next time also I want to um, let this run a little bit before the next episode uh, just to kind of kind of uh, hopefully get obsidian, although our likelihood of hitting lava is actually kind of low, and so maybe I will just cave in and make a diamond pickaxe and whatever, all that fun stuff and etc. Uh, but first I'm going to grab some of this cobblestone to build with, and I'm going to do a time lapse like I wanted to do uh, before it crashed. I'm just going to do a time lapse up here where you can just kind of see in, see what's going on. Do I have any glass? I have two glass, perfect. So you guys can see better. Make a cool little time lapse out of this, why don't we? And wait, wait. And there we go. And so, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.